Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Arizona Cardinals and the Detroit Lions. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team the us against the world mentality let's see if they can use it and get a victory The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead. And we're off in week two. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft from Oklahoma. It's Kyler Murray. And no excitement, unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Here's the offensive unit. Max's parents liked him so much, they put an extra X on the end. And they could do that because they saw something before the rest of us. They saw the potential of Max Williams and is coming to realization now in the NFL. A really good tight end with a little bit of speed. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. He lost two there, and it's third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Devon Kennard in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And you know, just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe mm. a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and the Lions will take over. So first and 10 now from the 30. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. The first carry now. This is Johnson. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Encroachment, defense. 
A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Looking downfield for Jones. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start off. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And this is recovered by the Cardinals. Illegal block in the back. Offense. Of course, they had the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that penalty will back him up half the distance to the goal line. It's a pickup of 17 there. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And hey, they were stingy in the opener. Didn't allow much of anything at all through the air. So now they come into week two saying, hey, let's see if we can do even better. Let's go ahead and get to that number one spot. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. Josh Doxson's got it complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Murray now on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. Well, that's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener, and the second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of two, now third down. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. It's complete to Williams. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. We yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Johnson had a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. The numbers a week ago for Johnson. 19 carries, 63 yards. I was so glad you asked for a couple of offensive linemen to talk to before the game because they told us that in last week's contest, Everything was clicking. Didn't matter whether they were doing gap scheme, zone scheme, power, whatever it was, it was working. And they expect more of the same in this game, although they're prepared for some adjustments by the defense they expect to see. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. 
Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. And here is the Cardinal defense. Chandler Jones had a nice run in New England, but I think he's found a real home in Arizona with their pressure package and their ability to utilize him in various ways. Standing up as an outside linebacker, he can come off the edge or loop inside in pass rush. And they can also put his hand down on the ground in pass rush situations and let him try and win against offensive tackles. On third down, Stafford is going to fire one deep. Middle. He's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Well, that's how you convert on third down with an explosive gain of 34. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. The first down carry here for Johnson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On second down, Johnson. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Now it's Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. There's a lot of discussion in the offseason about him having a big year and getting to the quarterback. They held him without a sack in week one, but how about here? Finally gets his first one of the season. In the offseason, said he changed his diet. Leaner feels so good this year. Excited to see what type of a season he can have. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. From the 27, Murray. That ball complete to Isabella. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Here we go. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. They'll run on first down. Johnson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Murray toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, and it's third and short. Murray going to try to throw on third down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Josh Doxson, his first touchdown of the new season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Complete to 
Josh Doxson. Touchdown, Arizona. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. Extra point put through by Suckup, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives seven plays in length, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They're going draw play. Stafford to Johnson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught them off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll be a second down. Stafford is going to float this one deep right side, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target, incomplete. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid and they've got themselves a seven, nothing lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we gonna milk the clock? Hey, are we just gonna do ball control? This is the NFL. Seven to nothing leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun on third down, Murray. It's brought in by Dachson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it's so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because when they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On the ground, it's Edmonds. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. He may try and run for this. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. 
Double plus, big time play. Damon Harrison, the one on the stop. Throwing on second and eight. Murray stepping up. He's going to keep it. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They run it here with Edmonds. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On second down, it's Johnson. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Murray now to throw. They'll roll him out right. And now he's going to use his legs. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Throwing again on second down. Murray toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Hakeem Butler there, and it's third and short. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Christian Kirk, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cardinals push further out in front. What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? This young quarterback continues to evolve and grow. He's really the adage right now that John Wooden, a famous basketball coach, used to say, be quick, but don't hurry. You can see that everything is happening for him, but he's not taking it at a pace that he can't sustain. Extra point up and good by Suckup, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. On second and 11 now, Stafford, he finds his man Johnson. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And the catch made by Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how have we, we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Watch tight end. Odd, odd, odd. Three down, three down. Odd, odd. Second down, Murray sets to throw. This one caught by Isabella. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Do you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up and run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Here's Murray from midfield. And this is going to be incomplete. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. So, what did they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how did they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. So a little more space to operate now. First and 10 from right around the 12. Here's Johnson. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. On second down now, McFarland. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to get this deep onto Arizona's side of the field. A big play there for Detroit. 61 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Stafford. Open man is Galladay, complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That catch good for five. It's third down. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down, threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. One of these quarterbacks going to learn. You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. And Elliott puts this one through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. Well, the drive started the shadow of their own goal post all the way back at the two. Pretty nice job of getting downfield and at least getting three. Agreed on that one. A real nice job because really their goal was to get out of the shadows of those goal posts and give themselves a little bit of room to help out their defense. Instead, they got three points out of it. They had a good return. He's across the 35-yard line right around the 36. 
Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Throwing is Murray on third down. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford, he'll get this into the hands of Travis Fulgham. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Throwing again, Stafford. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing a Stafford, and that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7 yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, it was the former number one overall selection, Kyler Murray, who put on an absolute show. His guys have the lead as we get you back up to Ford Field in Detroit and hand it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. 
and I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect. To Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by DJ Swearinger. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. And he's gonna go down. They get to him back at the 40. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. <laughs> and now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They go to Johnson again. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done sometimes when you open things. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Robert Kimdichi credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally <laughs> is. Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. From the gun, here's Stafford. And James has it. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. He got 29 yards that time. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 23. Now a give right side. McFarland. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. 
Johnson on the counter. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Watch 88, watch 88. 3-3. On second and 15 now. Stafford catches made by Hawkinson, the tight end. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Third and two, Stafford. It's caught, Jones. And he's got the first, but we also have a flag on the field. And they're already walking backwards. That's on the former first rounder, Taylor Decker. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll complete this one to Fulgham. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. There's Murray, able to find Isabella. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cardinals. Andy Isabella. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Cardinals push further out in front. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to his second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point try now for Sacco. And it's 21 to 3. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Now it's Ryan Sacco on after the touchdown to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Check pass. Check pass. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10 once again from the 28. Check, check. They run the counter. It's Johnson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, it's Johnson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. 
on third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Watch that in. Tight end's right. Tight end's right. Now on second and 13. Stafford complete. It's Johnson. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 36. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his big tight end there, Jesse James. And that'll bring up second down. On second down. It's Johnson, and down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Stafford. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. Here's another failure right there on third down. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Let's go. Uh, you know that they were thinking second half comeback here. That's a big miss if they want to have a chance at that comeback. A very big miss because time is becoming a real factor now. And they're three scores down. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal the offense. Pass. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Hey, four down, four down. On second down, this is Edmonds. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun on third down, Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Devon Kennard able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. They begin the drive with Johnson. And I don't know if he made it out of the end zone. No signal. Yes, it's a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. Now after the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football. And here's the free kick. This is taken around the 12. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. 
yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Now, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. They get nine there and in the process escaping their end zone, picking up a first down. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Stafford throwing for his running back and he's got him complete and he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19 yard line give him six on the play and it'll bring up a second down you got the big lead defensively willing to give him that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle him after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way and he's able to get up here to the 26. Seven yards there and a first down. 43 Now a first down throw, Stafford. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Stafford now to throw. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense, and it worked very well there for a first down. Stafford throwing on target to Jones. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To the air again, Stafford. And that is incomplete. Carry on Johnson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. To throw is Stafford. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Well, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. 
Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. Let's we'll see how they respond now. They'll run with Edmonds again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be third down. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. On third down, they run with Edmonds. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's Stafford. His throw incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw again. Stafford. Caught by Jones. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Now Stafford. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. First target, first catch, and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Jones has it, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. James has got it, complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Again, it's Stafford. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll run it with Johnson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Carry on Johnson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. 
I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Elliott good with a PAT, and that cuts this lead down to 13. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the touchdown run came from Carrion Johnson to cap things off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Face mask. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Michael Burton, the fullback, the intended target. And it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Edmonds. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Throwing is Murray on third down. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. The man they call Snacks, Damon Harrison, picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's to his running back, Carrion Johnson. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw again on second down. Stafford, screenplay, Johnson. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Throwing again is Stafford. It's caught. Jones. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Stafford. A very nice pickup of 33. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. Stafford barking out signals and trying to get his guys set quickly. To try again after the sack. 
Stafford. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Now it's Stafford. And that is incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jason Verrett. All day, baby, all day, baby. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down, where is the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested, knock it down and take over in a deeper position. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Here's Edmonds. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Cardinals, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they will fall to one and one. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon.